everyone I hope you're all doing very well so we're in the F14B Tomcat and we're gonna look at repeating the climb rate tests now we did do this in March 2019 when the F14 just came out since then the model has been tweaked and finalized and now we need to do it again just to remind you there are two methods that we do we do the QRA type climb rate and we do the high speed climb rate from 600 knots we do them at 45 degrees and kind of straight up at 45 degrees. Now I'm obviously aware that that is not the maximum, the most efficient way of getting a climb rate for any of these vehicles, but it is a uniform way that allows us to compare the different airframes with each other. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to measure it from zero or the deck up to 20,000 feet ASL satellite. And our usual test parameters apply. We're at 10% gas. We've got fuel burn turned off. We are an empty airframe with the uh, belly pylons stripped off. The temperature is 20 degrees centigrade at sea level, 29.92 inches mercury QNH, and there is no wind. Right, so first of all, the standard QRA style scramble at 45 degrees pitch as measured satellite. Now the way it works in this test is we do include the spool time of the engine that's just part of the QRA type test. So we'll go on three, two, one, go. Gear up. And maintain 45 as best we can. Quick check outside. Okay, that's 20,000 done. Next we'll do the uh, 600 knot test. So what we're gonna do is start again on the ground. This time we're gonna take off. We're gonna travel on the deck up to 600 knots, true speed satellite. Then we're gonna pull back with about 20% aft stick to 45 degrees and see how fast we can climb up to Angels 20. So get everything ready, off we go. Stabilised at 45. So if we're supersonic yet. Yeah. Lovely, it's always a good sign. 17,000, 18,000. And 20,000. From that one we measure it from 1,000 up to 20,000. Right, let's go and examine the results. Okay, so we have our results. If we look at the climb rate from 600 knots, the fast test first of all, because it's going to be easier. So we've got the old F14B in there from March and the new one uh, from July, the, the one we've just done. And there's hardly any difference. There's about a quarter of a second difference. And um, I mean, this test really is only accurate to within our best quarter of a second anyway, because there are variables in there like how hard I pull the stick exactly. Uh, so it's hard to be completely empirical. So I'd roughly say at the highest speed climb rate, it's maybe got a tiny bit faster or hasn't changed. Either of those I think would be correct in saying. And hence it's still in fifth place just behind the AGS and just above the SU-33 with special afterburner mode on. But then we come to the QRA style uh, climb and you can see it's moved from second place or joint first place in fact and has gone all the way down into one, 
two, three, what, four, four, fifth place behind the Hornet. And that's strange. Why have we had a seven plus seven and a half second increase from zero? Um, that's a massive error. And I've been trying to think, have I done something wrong? I've watched the video back and everything looked right. And I watched some old videos back of the other planes that we did and I did them all the same. I measured them from, you know, as soon as I push, started pushing the throttle forward to 20,000, I climbed at the 45 degrees. There's nothing else that I did differently. So how do we gain seven and a half seconds of time? And it doesn't really seem right to me either because an F-18 is less power to weight ratio, the Mirage 2000, lower power to weight ratio. And this is at the end of the day, you know, a bit like a rocket ship test. It's all about power to weight ratio. So I'd appreciate you guys casting your eyes over to, over that uh, video just to make sure I haven't done anything wrong. But it does look genuinely like the F-14B in its new guise is just a lot slower in QRA scramble time to 20,000 feet. Okay, let me know what you think, and I'll see you later.